This is a model of the cervical spine. I'm in my house, and during surgery, you don't have the luxury of moving the model around, but in your house, you do. So I think it's important to understand anatomical features. One is um, the bifid nature of C2, and C1, as you know, you just have an arch. So the lateral mass screws are pretty straightforward. You can easily find the medial border, the uh, medial border, the lateral mass, lateral border. Then I usually go just slightly medial to the midpoint, and then I place a Penfield four into the facet. This is really simple, very safe, and it gives you gives you the exact angle that you need. And you just follow that same exact angle superiorly and laterally, so that you miss the vertebral artery. See the vertebral artery. So you want to stay lateral to the vertebral artery for that. Now for C two. Um, there's two different ways you can go more lateral approach or more superior medial approach. In my mind, the more inferior lateral approach will give you a longer thread screw. And it's a slight medial angulation. So it should follow the facet, as you can see there. And it has to be medial to avoid the vertebral artery. Now, obviously, every single C2 is different in people. So you have to very carefully both study the model and also the CAT scan for the individual patient. Now, in my mind, the short pars screw is very safe. Um, it just goes up to the level of the artery, so you gotta measure that pre-op. So you get a much shorter screw. But for uh, a degenerative case and not a fracture case, which is this case, a 12, 14 millimeter screw, I think will give plenty of fixation. That's a short par screw. It just basically goes straight in and you just measure it pre-op so that you don't get as, as deep as the artery. And just for completeness sake, the C1 screw is just inferior to the arch, pulled down the nerve root, just above the facet. The facet you debride so that you get a fusion, usually C1, C2. It's a slightly medial angulation. Here's a starting hole. A slightly medial angulation. See, obviously you don't want to end it into the neck. So I thought this was a helpful um, depiction of the C2 screws. This shows you the angle has to be parallel to the facet joint.